Armstrong World Industries emerged from bankruptcy in 2010. A private equity firm took a minority stake in the company and installed a strategy to roll out lean manufacturing around the organization. They brought in a bunch of consultants and the idea was to run hundreds of Kaizen events at all the facilities in a short period of time. As I had extensive lean experience, they asked me to help the consultants and facilitate or co-facilitate many events with them. One of the earliest events that I co-facilitated was at our Marietta ceiling tile plant. The focus area was the packaging area for one of the major production lines, and we were going to apply 5S to that area to make it safer and more productive. After a, a full day of training, on the morning of the second day, the consultant and I brought the team out to the packaging area to perform SORT, the first S, which is to dispose or remove any materials, equipment, or tools that are in the way and not used. The team seemed very reluctant to remove or dispose of anything as we put pallets out to place old and unused equipment, tools, and materials on, and a few hours in, very few things had put, been put on the pallets, but it was obvious to me and the consultant that there were tons of other things that could be removed or disposed of. So we took a sidebar and decided that we would demonstrate that it was okay to dispose of things, that it would not make things worse in the area, but make things safer and more productive. Looking around, we found an old broken down rolling toolbox it wasn't roll, rollable anymore as one of the wheels was missing. Covered in dust, it was filled with old bolts and nuts and, and tools that obviously hadn't been used for years. With some help, we took the toolbox out from under a mezzanine and placed it backside down on a pallet ready for disposal. Now, one of the team members was a supervisor from the area and he got very angry at this and he said, look, I bought these toolboxes for $300 a piece four years ago, and we could fix this and use it somewhere else. Well, we pointed out that it was obvious this toolbox hadn't been used in years, and there were three other brand new toolboxes that could be used instead. With that, he stormed off. Now, the rest of the team was wondering what would happen next. and we decided to keep the team engaged and look through materials and tools that could be removed out of the area. A few hours later, we were informed that we needed to come to the plant manager's office. And it turned out that the supervisor on his way out of the plant stopped by the plant manager's office to express his concern with what we were doing. As we listened to the plant manager, he told us that it was more important to engage the team and get alignment around the culture of lean than it was to just dispose of materials and supplies. Well, he was right, of course, that the culture is way more important than the application of the tools and engaging the team had to be our number one priority. We apologized to him and then we went out to the team and apologized for our drastic actions. But something interesting happened. After we apologized, the team seemed more willing to remove things and started to focus on how the removal, disposal, and organization would help them do their jobs in a more safe and productive manner. What we learned from all of this, of course, is that the culture and engagement of your team is way more important than the applications of process improvement tools. I hope this story provided you with some inspiration to revisit your own processes. I have a lot more I'd like to share. Head over to pi-partners.com to learn how I can help. And check back from time to time for more Kaizen stories.